you're running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everyone, it is Farmhand Mike and I am just south of Vincennes, Indiana, bringing you a 2020 potato harvest video. Let's go check out the action. I am down at Veek Farms just south of Vincennes. I've done other videos on this farm before them planting potatoes, digging potatoes, planting corn, shelling corn. They have several versatile tractors, front wheel assist, and you're going to see three of them in this video. Throughout this video, we're going to start out in the potato field here with them digging potatoes, loading them into the truck, and then in the later part of the video, they're going to be disking up a harvested potato field and planting a cover crop of sedan grass. So what that means, in this 28 minute long video, there's going to be a lot of action. Five different tractors working in the fields. I got a little bit of them grading potatoes back at the farm towards the end of the video, but unfortunately I got there too late with everything going on in the field, and they were shutting down for the night. I got lucky when I come out here. I shot this video towards the end of July of 2020. There were several thunderstorms that went throughout the area, and somehow they went right around here and missed this place, which worked out great for this video opportunity. This is a sandy soil down in this part, and it's very good for growing potatoes and other vegetables. Of course, all the potato ground is on irrigation. You'll see some of the pivots in the background. They'll normally start planting potatoes somewhere around uh, third week of March and so forth, weather permitting, and they usually start digging potatoes around right after the 4th of July. All the potatoes they grow here go to potato chips, and most of these potatoes will be a potato chip within 24 hours after leaving the farm. Now they did tell me I could take some of these potatoes home, some of the ones that were in the field here that fell through the diggers and so forth, and they also make good frying potatoes. These are a lighter skin potato, so they don't last real long. They do not make a good bacon potato. Perfect for potato chips. And everybody loves potato chips, don't you? I don't care what brand it is, it's hard to eat just one. And right here we have a versatile 2180 tractor pulling a Logan potato windrower. Uh, call this what you want. It's a digger windrower. He is digging up four rows of potatoes with this. And he is laying those potatoes over between the next four rows. And then when the potato harvester comes up, it's going to dig up four rows plus the windrow of the potatoes that this machine left. The versatile 2180 tractor was built at the factory in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada between 2000 and 2008. These were rated at 260 engine horsepower or 180 PTO horsepower. You could get these in two-wheel drive or front-wheel assist like you see here. These had the super steer front axle as well, an 18-speed full power shift transmission, and was powered with a 7.5 liter New Holland six-cylinder diesel engine. This tractor is just about identical to or same spec as a New Holland 8870 A series. Now we'll have a look at the potato harvester. This is being pulled with a versatile 280 tractor and the potato harvester is built by Double L Manufacturing Incorporated. He is digging up four rows of potatoes out of the ground and he's also got the other four rows of potatoes left by the windrower. So he's putting eight rows of potatoes through here and they're going up through the machine. Of course a lot of the dirt and stuff you see is being sorted out, debris out the back and they are side loading onto the truck as you see here. The Versatile 280 tractor was built between 2009 and 2014. There was three different models, the 250, 280, 305, and you're going to see the farm's 305 later on in the video working some ground. These are very similar to the 2180 I just talked about. The biggest difference is the engine. These are powered with a Cummins 8.3 liter six-cylinder diesel engine. The Versatile 280 is rated at 280 engine horsepower. The spec was 225 on the PTO, but most of these are putting every bit of 280 out on the dyno. These tractors all come from the factory with the mechanical front wheel assist drive. You could either get the standard mechanical front wheel drive or you could get the ultra steer front axle. These were never offered in a two wheel drive version. 
they're digging these potatoes just a few miles from their home farm where they will haul them back to the farm and they have all the washing and grading equipment there. Once the potatoes have been grated, they are loaded onto a semi where they are hauled off then to be made into potato chips. And there's so many flavors of potato chips. Myself, I just like a plain potato chips and sometimes some salt and vinegar ones. What's your favorite chip? I have several more minutes of the potato harvesting action from the sky and from the ground and then in the last 10 minutes of the video you're going to see him working up the ground and planting a cover crop.
And after they get done planting the potatoes, they come out here and they work the potato ground down. And they're using their versatile 305 tractor pulling this sunflower disc with a great plain seed bed conditioner behind it. After they disc this ground up, then they are planting a cover crop of sorghum sedan grass using their John Deere 4020 tractor with a John Deere 8300 grain drill. The Ford 8630 tractor you saw there with the blade, I got very little footage of, they was almost done. But after they grade the potatoes, the spoiled potatoes and stuff that didn't make grade, they bring out here and dump in the field, and they were just leveling it off with that tractor and blade. Maybe some other time we can get the 8630 to make a video appearance and get it up here on YouTube. Anyways, uh, if you want to, you can go on YouTube and check out Tractor Man PJ. He's uh, one of the guys here on the farm, and he has a YouTube channel and shows lots of videos from their farm. The Versatile 305 is pretty much the same tractor as the 280, just a little more horsepower. These were built between 2010 and 2014, and at one time, Versatile actually made a four-wheel drive 305 too. So sometimes when I get calls on a 305, I have to ask them if it's a front-wheel assist or an articulated four-wheel drive.
and everybody loves a farm video that has a John Deere 4020 in it. I mean, how many times do you get an opportunity to film a John Deere 4020 tractor point in 8300 grain drill? Especially drone footage of all this. That is their home farm in the background, and that's where they actually hold the potatoes back and have their grading facility. That is going to wrap up this video. Thanks everybody for watching and being a subscriber. Feel free to hit that like button and comment below. And you can also check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Farmhand Mike. Stay tuned. I still have a lot of good stuff coming to the channel. Thanks again, everyone.